what do you need to have what do you need help on you don't get any of it that's not a question that's a statement what do you not understand nothing uh, did you not pay attention to what we did in class so we just went over how to do this life would be easier if you'd pay attention wouldn't it yeah maybe you ought to try that once in a while maybe you wouldn't be failing the class if you were paying attention once in a while okay let's take a look remember you can always go over this learn by example oh really yes it's on every one at the start you can go over IXL has this on every one at the start learn by example you can look at it if you don't know what to do yes I've told you that before you ought to look at it once in a while. Let's go ahead and look at it. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Let's read through this. You want to find the Y coordinate. What's the Y coordinate? We just talked about it in class. Good thing this has the example right here. Okay. So go ahead and read through this. X axis. We talked about that. It's right here. Here's your X axis. Y axis. That's what this one is. See, has a Y on it. Y axis is the one going up and down. X axis is going across. Okay. Origin. You really didn't pay attention in class, did you? Origin is where it crosses right here. That's where the two axes cross. That's your origin. Okay. Ordered pair. This is an ordered pair. What were you doing in class? We went over all of this. Ordered pair, X, Y. Yes, the first one's the X coordinate, and the second one is the Y coordinate. And it tells us the position along the X axis and the position along the Y axis. I don't even know why I bother teaching class. You don't pay attention. Why should I even try, okay? All right, now let's go back to the question, okay? They want to know point K, okay? They want to know what its um, Y coordinate is. So if we look right here, we look at K, its Y coordinate is 3. No, 3 is on the x-axis we're looking right here y coordinate is zero it even says that right here it's zero on the y-axis yes it's three on the x-axis but they want the y coordinate so it is zero okay so remember these things we're looking for the x and y coordinate x is where it's at on the y or y coordinates where it's at on the y-axis x is where it's at on the x-axis okay let's go back to our problems yeah, it would have been much easier if you just paid attention in class, wouldn't it? That's why I teach you this stuff, so you can do it. Okay, so what is the Y coordinate point P? Okay, so the Y coordinate of point P is... No, it's not 5. 5 is the X coordinate, see? X axis, 5 is the X axis. They want the Y coordinate, the Y coordinate. Y coordinate, yes, negative 1. So we would put negative 1 in here, just excellent, very good. Then you submit that, okay. Now this one wants the Y coordinate of the point Y. The Y coordinate of point Y is, no, it's not negative 3, we already talked about that. Negative 3 is the X coordinate. Going this way, there's no coordinate there, look at 1, Zero, negative one, what's in between there is zero. If it's on the line, the y, the y coordinate would be zero. Yes, yeah, submit that one, okay. Let's go on this one. What's the y coordinate of the point E? That one is zero, no, the y coordinate's not zero. The y coordinate is one, yes, one, okay. Do you got this? I sure hope so because we're running out of time. Okay, G, what's the Y coordinate of G? If you say negative three, I'm gonna slap you. Negative one, very good. Negative one, okay. All right, 
Okay, what's the x-coordinate of D? The x-coordinate of D. Here's D. What's the x-coordinate? 1. Seriously, 1. x-coordinate of D is 1. What am I doing right here? What am I, This is my x, 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 x-axis. Where's my point on the x-axis for D? What am I pointing at right here? 3. Yes, 3. It's where's it located on the x-axis? That's your x-coordinate. Okay, let's try some other ones. Oh, these are a little bit different. Which point is located at 1 and negative 2? 1 and negative 2. Which one do you think is there? R, you say? R is located at 1 and 2. So it's not R. Q, Q is located at negative 2 and 1. So it's not that one. Remember, first one is 1. So we go over 1 on the x-axis, 1. And then 2 down 2 on the y-axis. So where does that take us to? Yes, T, very good. If you can only do it by yourself, it would be better. Okay. Now, let's try the next one. What are the coordinates of point E? Where is point E? Point E is right here. Okay. Where on the x-axis is point E? Really? Zero? You're telling me it's zero? Where on the x-axis is point E? Ah. <sighs> Yeah, that's where it's at on the x-axis, isn't it? Now, where on the y-axis is it? Where on the y-axis is point E? What? E on the y-axis is 5 on the y-axis clear up here. There is no point anywhere on that y-axis of 5. What is this one right here when it's on the y-axis? What is this point right here on the y-axis? Remember, we talked about it. Here. Yes, zero. You got to be able to do this on your own. Okay, uh, one more time. Okay. All right. X. Okay. X is located at five three. Seriously, five three. That's what you're going to answer is five three. X comes first. X. Alphabetical order. Alphabetical order. X. Yeah, three. And then Y. Five. Okay. Good luck. I'm going to help somebody with some hope. Okay. I'll be back. Maybe. Bye.